Break time in Brownsville, Texas, where a thousand workers are sweating away to build the future of American green energy. It's a $625 million project, a first of its kind mega ship that will carry and then construct huge wind turbines off of the coast of Virginia. Mark Mitchell with Virginia power company Dominion Energy took us for an exclusive tour. Let's go take a look. Let's go check it out. All right. At over 30,000 tons and 58,000 feet of deck space, it's basically a floating city. There's going to be recreation on board. Is yes. it like a gym? It is a gym on board, along with other entertainment, movie, and things like that. The deck is the size of almost two football fields. It can hold accommodations for up to 119 people, and it's named the Charybdis after the ancient Greek sea monster. Its gargantuan scale will allow it to carry the massive turbine blades that will top offshore windmills. There'll be 12 blades. Those blades are like 357 foot long. They weigh 60 tons each in round numbers. Uh, so you have 12 of those hanging off the back. This boat can turn into a stationary platform, jacking up off the ocean floor with massive legs on each corner. How many stories is this? It's, I mean, it looks like it could be maybe uh, 10 to 15. No, I would say uh, 30, 35 stories. Probably. Wow. Once propped up, the boat will use a big crane, kind of like a claw machine game, to construct the windmills. This is American built, American owned. Made in America, not just a badge of pride, but a way to solve a major problem. The U.S. doesn't have its own ship to assemble offshore wind. Due to an over 100 year old law known as the Jones Act, only American ships are permitted to transport cargo from one U.S. point to another. The Charybdis, now the first capable of doing so. So we can come in, pick up turbines on shore, take them out, and install them directly. When the Charybdis is done next year, it will sail to a site 24 miles from Virginia Beach. The Coastal Virginia Offshore Wind Project will deliver 2,600 megawatts of energy, capable of powering over 900,000 homes. It's a very exciting development. Uh, that vessel is going to be heavily used and booked for years on end. By 2030, President Biden wants to install 30,000 megawatts of capacity. As of last year, the U.S. had installed less than 1%. We're going to need somewhere on the order of five of these installation vessels in just a few years to build out our own offshore wind capacity. A number of scheduled offshore wind projects, like two in New Jersey, have been canceled amid supply chain issues and higher interest rates. The cost of construction is very high. If you imagine the time while uh, one is constructing a project, you're not making any money off the project. The administration says it is attempting to offset those costs through the Inflation Reduction Act, offering tax credits and investments in research and development. We've seen significant investment just in the past few years, uh, upwards of $7 billion in manufacturing and port investments. And those are the kinds of, of investments that we need to, to continue to see in order to reach uh, the president's goals. Those investments are giving Dominion and the Charybdis a boost in setting up the infrastructure to ramp up offshore wind construction, because even after the Virginia project is done, it's on to the next one. Now this goes beyond our project. This is for the offshore wind industry. The winds of change, a work in progress. And NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung joins us now. Uh, so when's the Charybdis scheduled to make its, its maiden voyage here? Yeah, well, it's scheduled for early 2025. And once it's done in Brownsville, Texas, it's going to sail all the way around the East Coast up to Virginia. Again, 24 miles off the shore of Virginia Beach. And that's where it's going to begin the construction of 176 offshore wind turbines. And they hope to get that done pretty quickly. They say those will all be done by 2026 if all goes according to plan. It sounds like that is much closer to getting us to the goal that we've set for ourselves. But I got to yes. ask, like, when it comes to the global uh, perspective here, are we falling far, far behind? Are there other con uh, countries that are just killing it at this? Or is this an American problem? Yeah, well, I mean, as underscored by, you know, the piece just now, we're really far behind, right? One percent right? in terms of the overall target that this administration has of 30,000 megawatts of offshore wind capacity. Now, 42 is what we had in the United States as of 2023. For comparison, in Europe, they had 18,300 megawatts of energy installed in that single year. 18,300. 18, 18,000, we're at, 18, we're at yep. And we are total at 42. <laughs> so we are really far behind. But again, Europe has a lot more infrastructure put in place. Right. They have the parts that are manufactured there. The ships don't have to travel as far to construct it. So the idea is if the U.S. can get that supply chain, if they can also get more ships like the Charybdis, they can accelerate that timeline. Fascinating stuff. We look forward to watching more of it. Thanks so much.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.